Echo Hill is probably a very familiar park to many people, but it does serve as the centerpiece for most of our recreational and educational programming. It's located off of Lilac Drive in Clinton Township, one block over from the traffic light at Stanton Station Road in 31. It's a 94 acre parcel that offers unique features such as the stream, the pond, a group camping site. Um, so it is always well worth the visit even if you're just coming for its playground. So please make plans to, at some point if you've not to come see us at Echo Hill. If anyone's been to Echo Hill, they know about the playground. Um, the playground, of course, is for the use of the children um, whenever the park is open. Um, it's also been a centerpiece for meeting certain groups for scheduled walks. But it's, again, one of the prominent features of the park and the adjacent picnic groves are also available for the public. They are non-reservable, first come, first use. Um, so again, many families have made a day here um, for lunch or snack time, and then offered the playground for use for their children. So please feel free to come visit, use the grove and the playground at your will. Okay, situated in the center of Echo Hill is the main activity center. Most of our programming is based from this location. Inside are two rooms called the main lodge and the multi-purpose room. If we are not using them for our programming, they do have the ability to be rented by the general public for other usage. Um, in time, call the front office to, about the availability. Also located inside are the bathrooms for the general visitation use. Um, so again, if you're coming to Echo Hill, at some point you're probably going to be making a visit to this structure. Okay, this is the three acre pond at Echo Hill. There is a small little a launch pier for our canoe fleet because we have done canoe clinics here. We also offer fishing clinics and pond studies. But it is a popular fishing hole. It's catch and release only. The common um, fish here are largemouth baths, two types of sunfish, um, bluegill and pumpkin seed. But you may catch a stray catfish or if there's any surviving um, grass carp in here for trying to control some of the algae, you might see them moving. You'll also see probably um, snapping turtles and painted turtles moving about the pond and the possibility always exists that you will see a water snake. Um, many type of bird species also hang out around here. Green herons, blue herons, various waterfowl on the water. So again, it's always worth, worth a glance when you're walking around Echo Hill to see what might be going on down at the pond. Okay, this is the Prescott Brook in Echo Hill. Where I'm standing is a little stone beach along the side that we have because this is where we do stream studies. Of course, as a visitor to the park, you could just walk down here. We wouldn't, I don't truly encourage you to do your own stream study because of liability issues. But again, um, depending on rainfall, the speed and height of this creek is constantly changing. You can see that by the erosion cuts. But it's usually a nice cool area to get out of the summer's heat. This is another sort of little hidden spot in Echo Hill. Um, it's a dam site if 
people have had children in the old camp program because um, it's sort of been a, a wet sw splash area for them. But what its real purpose is, is it creates the sluiceway, and that's this part of the structure here, because this is where we channel water off to maintain the level of the pond. The pond is man-made, made back in the 1930s. Um, so again, we need to divert water to that location to keep the pond active and alive. But again, it's another sort of cool, quiet, scenic spot that you might find some alone time here at Echo Hill. Okay, in-house we call this the old bow and racket. Back in the 30s, 40s, when it was a private day camp, this is where archery and tennis occurred. Today, however, it's the group camping site at Echo Hill where organized groups like scouts and other entities can rent the location to have a camp out campfire for their activities. The adjacent field is used for the tenting, but again, it offers picnic tables, benches around the campfire. We do have a stack of wood and a um, two-sided structure to act as a leader's site or kitchen location. Again, call, check with the office for availability um, when, rent, when it's available for rent. Okay, the old white house on the property is the old Lechner house. It dates back to the late 1700s. Um, it is a very old building. Um, it's been several things in its day with Echo Hill other than the Lechner's homes. Um, it has served as the center for the old um, South Branch Watershed Association, which has now been absorbed into the Raritan Headwaters Association and is currently serving as the meeting location for a organized group called the Sea Cadets. It's not open for any type of tours, but again, people see the house, they have inquired, and we just wanted to share a few facts about it. Okay, this old structure is actually the old Stanton Station Railroad Station. It was moved to Echo Hill back in the late 1940s with a team of horses. During that time when this served as a stay away camp with the Lechners, this was the girls' dining hall. Um, it's had a few other uses, but now the building is basically storage for us because um, it's no longer connected to the electric or water. Um, but again, it has a bit of history. We still talk about it on some of our walks, but just wanted to share the information if you happen to have walked around Echo Hill yourself and have always wondered about this building. The little building to the side was the old handicraft lodge back in the days of the camp, and again is one of our outlying buildings for storage. As I mentioned, Echo Hill has a one mile loop trail. Many of its features are common and you'll see them in other videos. But I wanted to show you this location. This is the kissing tree at Echo Hill. Um, I won't tell you exactly where. The only clue I will give you is that it's about 15 yards off of the trail loop. But any observant hiker should have no problem finding this site if they're walking the trail loop at Echo Hill to have as a little scavenger hunt when you come here and visit. So please take up the offer and see if you can come find our kissing tree at Echo Hill.